welcome back. So, for those of you that are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. My name is Civil Spider. I am a video editor. And for those of you that are returning that already know of me, I kind of want to take this quick minute just to say that I'm rebranding myself. I'm more centralizing in what I do. Um, and I'm hoping that those that are still interested in me stay. But just know that my channel, as of now, I've unlisted a lot of videos. And I want the focus to be mainly on video editing and animation. Um, you know, it's something that I, I know I should do because I need to really hone in on what it is that I have to offer to the world. And that definitely has to be knowledge in video editing, how to video edit it. I want to show you guys and give you guys skills that you can use in the real world for whatever. Uh, and ultimately, it's just for those that are really interested in editing. Um, so if you're not interested in video editing, which I totally understand if you're not, you know, feel free to stay, pardon the outside noise, I know you can hear the cars. You know, pardon the videos in a sense of like, if it's not what you're interested in, I will have other content that involves animation, my podcast and such out there. It's just, just know this is what's happening now. But anyway, I'm explaining that for those because I do care. But now let's get into what it is that I'm doing today. So today is going to be day one of you learning to video edit. So if you're genuinely interested in editing, I'm going to teach you how, I'm going to give you guys information, and I'm treating these as classes, so I am hoping you guys follow along, really listen to what I have to say, and ultimately I'm going to make you guys the best editor you can be, and I'm hoping this helps me brushing up my skills to, you know, make sure that I'm still the best editor that I can be. So, let's go ahead and start. Okay, so like I mentioned, this is day one, so what software are we going to use? What am I going to teach you guys on? I am using Sony Vegas Pro 15. Okay, I know some people are gonna probably say I should be teaching you other software and what's whatever. But I want you to understand that if you, at least if you understand the concept of editing, the, the uh, you know, the jargon, the knowledge, it's all universal. Uh, all you have to do really is just learn new software whenever you transfer. So it's kind of like, you know, hey, I need you to do me a favor at a drop shadow, at a transition. Uh, make sure that the video frame rate is the same and make sure you give me the highest quality. You know it, what to do. You know in your head what you're doing. It's just a matter of, okay, well, this is my first time using Sony Vegas. How do I create a drop shadow, right? Or how can I make sure the frame rate's the same way? So it's just about learning software. But in terms of being an editor, this is what this is for. You're going to know how to do everything, okay? I'm hoping that makes sense. But okay, so let's get into it. So first of all, when you open Sony Vegas, right, what is it that we're looking at? So first of all, on our right side here, this is where our preview box is. Our preview box is going to show what it is we're working on here so we can get the visual representation of what we're doing. When you have on the left side here, it's basically where all of our uh, project files are going to be. So all your video clips, pictures, effects, all that will be listed here so you always have an idea of where they're at and you can always see what you, you know, are importing. Now down here is the timeline. Okay, so what is a timeline? A timeline is where videos are. So here's one thing I want to start off by teaching you guys, okay? Now down here in the timeline, we have two sections here, right? We have the video part and we have the audio. There's two ways you can check to make sure that you're on the right file, whether it be for video and audio. And here's how, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is look on the left side here. You see on the number one, how there's that little film strip right there. That's an, you know, that's a video strip, so you know you're on the video section. A second way is right here, this level 100. This is a bar for opacity. So I'm gonna show you guys what that means and how you can, uh, you know, test it here. So I'm gonna add a solid color, right? So we have a solid color here, and with this solid color, you can see in the preview box now that it is white, you know? So the reason it's white is because I have my cursor here on the white and I get to see it. Now, like I said, we know we're on the video track, not only because our visual graphic is there, but because if one, I try to put it down, there's gonna be a red circle or a circle just saying, nope, can't do that. So that's one way you know. The second way you know is like I said, this cursor here, this slider, if I bring it down, notice how the white starts to fade out. So if you're keeping notes, keep notes of this. This is what opacity means. Opacity means the level of clarity or basically the, the, the visualness, like the degree in which you can see it. For example, this is at 100% opacity. That means I am gonna see a hunt, like I'm gonna see it to its full resolution, to its full extent. If I bring down this opacity bar, I'm making it fade. 
I'm making it more transparent, I'm making it more see-through, okay? So the, the lower this bar goes, the more see-through it is, the higher it is, the less see-through. You know, nice and simple, think of it that way. So overall, that's how you can tell if this is definitely the, uh, the video box. Now, the way we can tell this is the audio is, go to the number again. Number two, you have that little microphone, that little icon for that. That's how you know this is an audio track. But secondly, you have the volume, the pan, you have this volume slider, and you have this pan slider for the center. Now, just so you know what they do, if you have the volume slider, you bring it upwards, it makes whatever is in this track louder. And if you bring it down, it'll make it quieter. So again, if you're keeping notes, keep note of that. If you mess with this slider and the slider goes up, video's louder. If it goes down, it's quieter, okay? So very good, so far so good. Now, um, you know, you want an example of that, of course. So give me a second, I'm gonna import a clip for demonstration purposes. So here I have the 3AM collection soundtrack of now, I believe that's called the best love music, uh, I forgot what it's called. But anyway, as you can see here, that we have the audio wave, right? So down here in this purple, you can see all those little levels. Now, like I said, I'm gonna press play for like three seconds, I don't wanna get copyrighted, and you're gonna hear audio. Imagine owning the world's greatest wow. love songs. All right, I'm gonna stop it there. Now, if I bring the slider down, let's say I bring it really down. Now notice when I click play, what happens? It's a lot quieter, right? That's what that slider does. Now, if I bring it upwards, oh, I don't know if I even want to do this. I'm gonna take off my headphones. This is gonna get loud. It's gonna get really loud. Imagine owning the world's greatest love song. Anyway, sorry if I crushed your ears in that, but that's the point, you know? The point is for you to understand that's what that slider does. Uh, what does the center do? Maybe some of you are wondering, just, it, you know, ultimately don't mess with it because what that does is if you move the slider to the left, it'll be essentially um, making the audio waves more centered on the left ear. If you bring it to the right, it'll be in your right ear. And then when it's centered, obviously right in the center, you get to hear it on both ears. So that's what that does. So, so far we have learned what um, the preview box is, right? So, so far we have the preview box. You can see here, I have my media that I'm using so far in this video. I have my video track and I have my audio track. So essentially that is what we're at so far, okay? So if you're taking notes, remember, keep notes on some of this stuff. For example, what does a preview box do? Take notes on that. What does a pre project media section do? Take notes on that. Um, you know, if you mess with the slider of a visual, if you bring that slider down, what does that do? Makes it more transparent, bring it to the right, less transparent. What does the volume section do? If you move it to the left, makes it quieter. Move it to the right, makes it louder. So, so far, this is where I think I'm gonna stop it just because I feel we're at a good part where you learned a couple of key things that I want you to remember. Remember, all of this is about you becoming the best editor you can be and that's honestly grasping some of the details. Uh, you know, cause again, if you go to a different software, one day your job demands it and they're like, hey, you know, I, I really want this to be louder, you can ask them, okay? Or you can even see the software itself, be like, okay, how can I raise, you know, the volume? How can I raise the decibel? How can I do it for just this track? Uh, you know, or like, hey, we, let's have fun with this video. What if we play with the left ear and right ear? How? You know, we can uncenter the audio, put it more to the left for one clip, more to the right on the other. So it's a lot of little things that, again, you know, I want you to understand. It'll be fun, at least I hope so. But anyway, that's gonna be it for the day. So take notes, study, get Sony Vegas if you can. I'll leave info for Sony Vegas down below for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.